Hello, I'm Laura Newman from Laura's Crafty Creations. Welcome back. Today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make the Space Cadet birthday easel card. So much fun. And yeah, you guessed it, Space Cadet. This is a brand new stamp set from Spellbinders FSJ. And this is just so stinking cute. I love the little aliens and you've got some planets, the UFO. We'll be using some of these today. Um, among other stamp sets. First, I want to start before we go any further. If you watched last week's video tutorial, Shaving Cream Background meets FSJ Color Splash, you remember that I created some backgrounds and then I went over them with Color Splash just to liven them up and give them some added luster, that sort of thing. Well, today, I'm using, uh, you'll remember last week that I said I had one in particular in mind for a little space theme, outer space. So we're going to be doing using that background today and I want you to see how lovely it looks right here. So I've already, this is the panel, I've already mounted it on a piece of cardstock which is four and a quarter inches by five and a half. Same size as your A2 card front. Look at how beautiful. Can you see all that shimmer and shine? Well, let's try and get some light. Here we go. And you can just see it sparkling everywhere. A lot of that is the background, but you'll notice that this is embossed, and even the embossing powder has a shimmer to it. Well, I've gone and mixed some of my FSJ embossing powders together. In particular, I used the white embossing powder and I added our sparkle dust to it. Comes out absolutely beautiful. Uh, I believe my mix was about half sparkle dust and half embossing powder. I never really measure so I was kind of eyeballing it but if you get close to that you should be good. And of course the background was created with another brand new stamp set, Space Galaxy. So I basically took this stamp, inked it up with our clear pigment ink, stamped it, and then sprinkled on the uh, sparkle dust white embossing powder mixture. And I even marked my label so I can tell it apart. Sparkle white embossing powder now. Then I heat set it for a couple minutes. It didn't take long at all. And just absolutely beautiful, all that shimmer and shine. Now, in order to make an easel card, you'll see directly down in front of the camera here, this was an 8.5 by 11 inch piece of whipped cream cardstock. I went ahead and cut that in half lengthwise, just right down the middle. Most people cut it the other way through here, the short way. But for an easel card, we want to have that length going up. It'll open differently. So then, can you see where I've scored and creased? at the five and a half inch mark and then again from this side at the one and three quarter inch mark. So this is going to be our card front. This is where we're going to attach our card. Um, here we go so you can see that. And then I'll add a sentiment down here later on the card. It'll fold flat to go in the mail but we'll see all that once I've glued it together. Now on the other half that I did not score, I went ahead and I cut that in half again so that I wind up with my five and a half inch by four and a quarter inch piece, which is what I mounted our little pretty background on. Okay, so we use that stamp set. And of course we use the Space Cadet stamp set. Now from here, I took the little UFO, and I believe I have one right here, and well, let's take a look at these. I also use the astronaut right here and the little alien right next to them. And let's see, can we see this okay? So I've done, yep, I think they're showing up pretty good on camera. Just checking that. So I've done two little aliens sitting in their spaceships and I've done an astronaut. Basically, I stamped and cut 
three of the little UFO vehicles out. And then I'm going to show you a little trick. It's called masking for those of you who haven't run into that. A lot of you probably know how. But what I did was just stamped on paper my little UFOs. And you can see here. And then I cut out just the bottom part. You can see right there. Just this, because I, I want my image to go on the top part, so I don't need that. But I don't want my little alien or my astronaut's body coming down in front of there. So all I'm going to do is take my mask and put it on. And I want to line it just under that black line so that none of the white is showing. And there, I think we've got it. Oh, I skipped a step. How I got that to stick was on the back side after I cut it out. I just took a Zig two-way glue marker and just added a little glue to it. You set that aside, let it dry for two, three minutes, depending on humidity. It might take a little longer if it's really humid. It was a hot, humid one here today. So now... That two-way glue, what it does is it turns it into a post-it note. It'll stick, it'll come off just like a post-it note would. Um, then I took my little alien stamp, you could, alien guy. I'll just demonstrate this one. I'm going to ink them up with the black licorice ink. And let me see if I can get my placement. Nope, that's coming up. Right about like so. Oh, he's a short little alien. <laughs> That's okay. Aliens come in all different shapes and sizes, right? But this will be perfect. Um, this card is actually going to go to my grandson pretty soon. He's 11, getting interested in UFOs, things like that. So, anyway, what I did then was I took my color splash pencils and I just colored in. I did the lights in different colors. I colored the alien. So the alien is pencil number 19. And then I kind of went over him to lighten him up. Make him a little, little softer with number 17, the yellow. So that's 19 and 17. And then on my ship, I used the blue. Uh, this is number 27. So you can see where I've added the blue here. I also added some blue lights. I added some green lights. I added some red lights. And the red is number two. And of course I added some of the pink lights. So the pink one is 005. I believe that's the watermelon fusion color. And then I also used a couple of other markers. Um, this is called Permapake. I have no idea where I got it from, but let me show you the color here. This is kind of like a matte metallic silver look. And I highlighted on this part where you can see the blue and the green. I did that first. I also did it on the very bottom. It's my darkest silver color. Did that on each of the ships. And then, to for my astronaut to make his shoot suit a little shinier I went ahead and colored him in with this and the blue pencil that I mentioned and I also added a little shimmer with this one this is just um, a super shiny silver gel pen I added it to the back and all around my lights then I took my journey glaze yeah you notice the glossy effect? It looks like they actually have that little glass bubble around them. Let's get some light in here. There we go. So you see that glassy effect? So basically, I just added journey glaze around this black line at the bottom, curving inward, and all up in here. I think this took two coats before I was really happy with it. Then I let that set it aside to dry. Uh, today in my house, even though I've been running the air conditioning, it took a couple of hours for it to dry. 
the heat's not running the air is on I live on a lake and it's very humid here today so but cooler than a lot of places the lake does keep us a little cooler I think it only hit 86 here today so now that we've done that we'll move these off the side I also stamped some sentiments out now the sentiments are coming one of them the happy birthday this is coming from an old retired set it's not available anymore and it's called cake time I think it went discontinued last year or the year before I want to say last year maybe you can find it on the retired FSJ site if you're really looking for it but I do love this I love the happy birthday going straight across and the I believe in you stamp came from I believe what else here we have I believe in you and UFOs so because my grandson's kind of into the UFO thing at age 11 I thought this will be the perfect birthday card for him. But you've got a lot of images in here, too, that will go so well with the other stamps I showed. You've got your astronaut, your rocket ship, some really cute phrases. We'll get that off the way. So I stamped the I Believe in You on a piece of whipped cream cardstock that was 5 8 inches by 3 inches. And the Happy Birthday, I stamped on whipped cream again, 5 8 by 3 and a quarter inches. So, we'll move those off the way. Now, I believe I've covered everything we used and demonstrated how to mask. So, we're going to get on with building the card. What we're going to need for this is our Journey Craft glue. Um, we're going to add adhesive, the glue, right here to this little folded part. And that's where our card front's going to stick on. And I am going to get a piece of scrap paper under me for this part, just in case any glue leaks out. I'll put it on this side and you can see the color then. But the reason I'm using the glue instead of the tape is it gives you a little more wiggle room. You know how you can take your tape runner and add it and once you stick cardstock down, it's on and it's hard to get off sometimes? You're trying to get it off because you... Uh, positioned it wrong or it slipped a little and so the glue takes a couple minutes to dry so that way you have a little more time to move it around if you need to and get it lined up just right so now I've got my glue on I'm going to take my card and I'm leaving it just completely out because if some glue does smush out of the sides it won't get the back of my card and I'm just going to try and line this up here now. Have to concentrate. I do these kind of things and I don't know, I think I'm like a two-year-old with that tongue sticking out of the side of the mouth. Bleh. Okay, and that did move around. So now I'm just trying to get her lined up before the glue grabs hold. And again I've moved it. Okay, I think I've got her now. I'm just checking my sides. Yep, and that looks good. So now I'm going to go ahead and just press on firmly a little bit. If you have a brayer, which I do, but it's not handy at the moment, you can just brayer over it a few times too. But I like to go on the inside of the card. And just press firmly. That way we're not rubbing all that glittery stuff off the front. And the glitter does stick fairly well with the embossing powder. But I don't want to rub it and create friction and maybe take more off that way. So there. Now we've got our card. And the reason we only glue on that bottom part is this is where it folds. Can you see that? So I could take this sentiment, pop it up here. I'd put another color background under it, but this, because you're popping up your sentiment here, is going to stop the card. Let's see. There, now you can see it. So that would stop your card, keep it standing upright so people can see the whole thing. Let's see if I can get my camera lined up again now. But now we're going to assemble. We're going to take that out. 
And I was kind of thinking about my placements. I was thinking, oh, you know what? That'll work. I'm going to put my happy birthday down here. I was thinking about something like this. And of course, I have pop dots on the back. I like to just move things around a little bit, see how they're going to look, play with it. I have pop dots on the back of all my UFOs, too. I could do something like that. Or I could make it kind of more zigzaggy. Put the I Believe in You up here. Put the happy birthday up over here. Another UFO there. But just kind of stretch it out. And have a little fun with it. So, so many different possibilities. Another way would be to put the I believe in you up here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and run three little space aliens down. Well, I only have two aliens, right? One, One's an astronaut, one's from Earth. And put that there. See, I really think I'm liking that the best. But I'll play around a little bit more and decide. And of course, if I wanted to, I could always add some of the sequins. They've got some really pretty new colors out, Spellbinders FSJ does. So, I think I'm going to probably settle with something like this. I just really like the way that catches the eye. But I will post the card on my blog um, with a supply list for everything you need. So if you didn't catch it here and you don't want to rewind over and over, the blog will have the supply list. And included with links right to the products, I am an affiliate for Spellbinders FSJ. So if you do purchase through my link, I make a small commission, which I always put towards getting more supplies so I can keep designing and making tutorials for you. Um, there are cookies involved in it, of course, as anyone. But So, I, I really appreciate if you would support me, though, and purchase through my links. So, until next week, I don't think I'll be back again this week. I have my four young grand grandsons here with me. They're ages 11, 8, 4 and a half, and 2 and a half. They keep me pretty busy. My husband took them out to the park tonight so grandpa's a really good guy so I had time to get here and make this video for you but I look forward to seeing you on my next post which will probably be next week Monday so thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you next time bye bye